You can transform the look of your home with a fresh coat of paint. But before you get started, there's a few things you should know. First, pick up samples of paint to test on the surface before you purchase large quantities. Lighting and location can slightly alter the way paint colors look on a surface than they appear on the paint swatches. You want to be confident about your decision before you make the investment. The paint finish or sheen you choose also impacts the way paint colors show up. Sheen refers to how much light the paint reflects. The more reflective the paint, the shinier it will look. Generally speaking, flat paint hides imperfections but can be hard to keep clean. Unlike matte sheens that have a low luster reflective finish but is easy to clean, customers usually find that eggshell and satin sheens are a good middle ground option and perfect for most interior paint jobs. Semi-gloss paint has a sleek, radiant appearance that's good for cabinets and trims. And high gloss paints are most resistant to stains, considered too shiny for walls, but perfect for trim and doors. Once you have made a selection and started your project, blend paint from different gallons as you work. Even though paint is mixed by a computer and extremely accurate, Slight variations can sometimes occur from can to can. Consider mixing paint into a large container, like a five gallon bucket, to ensure a consistent color mix. Measure your walls to ensure you have enough paint to cover them. Calculate the total square footage, including the alcoves and dormers. You'll also need extra paint for multiple coats and potential touch-up jobs down the road. Even if you discard the leftover paint, always keep the lid or record the paint formulation so you can match the color in the future. Consider all the paint supplies you'll need to help you perfect the job. Start with basics like paint trays, a ladder, paint brushes for corners, and paint rollers to cover large areas. But also consider picking up an extension pole which attaches to the roller so you can get to those hard to reach areas. To help create sharp lines, you'll need painter's tape and a paintbrush. Follow the guidelines of your manufacturer when using paint supplies and take all necessary safety precautions. Also, open windows and doors to ensure good ventilation when working inside. Move furniture and other personal belongings out of the workspace. Completely cover and protect light fixtures and ceiling fans. Remove outlet covers and hardware if necessary. Use drop cloths to protect indoor flooring, outdoor furniture, countertops and appliances. Cover the ground, patios and decks, bushes and other vegetation outdoors as well. Complete all repairs before you start painting. Paint is less likely to stick to rough and dirty surfaces. Patch up holes. Wash and rinse greasy spots. Scrape and sand cracked or flaky areas. Also, replace rotten wood or apply wood hardener to the affected area if the damage is minimal. Prime your walls if you're looking to change the paint color or sheen considerably. Primer not only covers up colors and stains, but it allows the top coat to stick to the surface better. An all-in-one primer and paint mix will cut down your workload, as it enables you to do both in a single coat. Paint jobs are best done on clear days with low humidity. Paint takes longer to dry in cool, rainy conditions. When performing the job, Wet the roller cover for easier application. Then fill the paint tray with enough paint to get up to the grate. Dip the roller cover into the back reservoir and bring it up against the grate. Roll it back and forth to squeeze out excess paint and evenly coat the roller. Use continuous overlapping M or W motions to coat the surface. Keep the roller within the center of the surface and not along the edge. 
Start at the top and work your way down to control streaks on the surface. Reapply the paint when the roller makes a peeling sound. Allow the paint to completely dry. This may take a few hours. Do a second coat if necessary, following the same procedure as the first coat. If you're coating a porch or stairs outdoors, consider adding a little sand to the paint if it's not already included. This will create traction to the slippery painted surface. Once you're finished painting, pour excess paint into the corresponding containers. Lightly hammer the lid onto the containers with a mallet to ensure a proper seal. Remove excess paint from your paintbrushes and other materials. Then clean them with either paint thinner for oil-based paint, stain and varnish, or soap and water for latex. Finally, once all the paint is dry, return your workspace to normal by uncovering everything and setting your furniture back in place. For more detailed information about this and many other popular projects, check out the DIY Projects and Ideas section of homedepot.com or talk to one of our store associates. Good luck and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.